Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ohima Bonsu, and if this is your first time clicking to watch any of my videos, welcome. I'm really glad. <laughs> I'm really glad that you're here. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back to watch this video. Okay, so today I'm going to do a comparison between the Fenty products that I got and my favorite products. So essentially, I'm going to be comparing the foundation and the concealer to my favorite foundation and concealer. And I'm also going to be using the nutmeg powder from Fenty and the nutmeg powder from Ben Nye. So if you want to see which side of my face I use which brand on or if you, if you can guess which side of my face is my favorite and which side of my face is Fenty then let me know. Also let me know down below in the comments how you like the overall finish of everything. Besides that let's get into the video. And now I refuse to believe that my brows or that any brow are even related. They probably are from like different parents like Somebody stepped out in this marriage. Now about my hair. This hair is actually hair that I got a while ago. Uh, the bundles are from my private vendor, but the closure is actually a 5x5 closure from Mercy Hair Extension. So, and it's actually an Indian curly closure. It matches the Cambodian really well. So yeah, if you need to, if you need a closure to match your virgin. Cambodian or raw hair check out mercy hair extensions. Okay, so let's jump into this video Okay, so since I'm broke and I didn't buy the Fenty primer I'm gonna use non modifying primer I can use so I'm gonna use the Too Faced the hangover primer my skin has just recently been washed and it feels so Exposed it looks very <laughs> it looks very healthy. It's kind of freaking me out so on this side of my face, I'm going to use Fenty and the original shade that I never actually tried is the Fenty 480. I'm going to shake it really well so that everything is mixed together. And, and on the right side of my face, I'm going to use my Too Faced Truffle. I've never actually given Truffle a shake, but since I'm shaking Fenty, Fenty is a very mattifying primer. I mean, mattifying foundation and mattifying foundations have been doing something kind of wonky on my skin lately. So, okay, I'm gonna use a Morphe M439 brush to blend this out. That's gonna be overlap. I have to overlap them. If not, my um, the middle of my face is not gonna look so good. Like, if I only use a little bit, it looks like it's not that bad. But since I want a full coverage look, uh oh. Okay, so let me know what you think. This is the Fenty 480 on this side of my face. It's a very mattifying, like, it's essentially it's a self setting foundation. Like, it set itself so quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna put truffle on the right side of my face. If I could change anything, I would just add like a tiny bit of a... I'm using the Sigma F80 to blend this side of my face. Like if I could change anything about this foundation, I would add like a little bit of um, ganache to it, which I do have. But because I'm not mixing the Fenty, I don't want to mix the Too Faced right now. But that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start mixing... Um, a little bit of ganache into truffle just to give me like a a little bit something something you know I really love I love the finish of this foundation so let me know what you think this is truffle truffle has a slight golden undertone truffle blends truffle just blends so easily you guys like okay so this is truffle and this is 480. 480 does not look bad. 480 doesn't look bad actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to start using 480 more because it doesn't look half as bad as as I thought it would. So I'm gonna swatch truffle for you. So this is truffle on the back of my hand, and I'm gonna put 480 next to it. Okay, so this is truffle, and this is 480.
they're very very close they're very very similar but but truffle like if you can see truffle is not as, as red as as the 480 like truffle is a very I think truffle is neutral uh, more neutral than um, than Fenty is but once I blended it out it doesn't look half as bad as I thought it doesn't look bad I'm just gonna tan my chest or something okay so the concealer I've been using late a lot lately is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Coco okay I'm gonna swatch Coco okay so this is Coco okay and where is my Fenty this thing was right in front of me and I couldn't find it this is the Fenty concealer in the shade 480 I always double check you know just just this because somebody's gonna say that's too bright that's not 480 <laughs> somebody actually said that to me they're actually very similar they're very very similar so first I'm gonna blend um, Fenty into this side of my face what I find what I find about these two concealers are that they are very very full coverage if you do a swipe especially if you're as dark as me if you do a swipe it's it's gonna take over your 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 look so with the Too Faced one I really like to just dot it and after I blend it out if I feel like I need more then I will go ahead and um, and add more okay so I had to stop to take a picture you know thumbnail and things so I'm just gonna spray a little bit of the hangover primer because oh my god Is that a little bit I just oof Ooh, that one into my eye. Oh my god. <clears throat> yeah, that one straight into my eye. <clears throat> that last part didn't really spray, kind of like squirted and then like squirted right into my eye. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit more. <laughs> Only a little bit. I think this is the same amount that I put earlier. I just don't want to swipe it under my eye. I really like how this blends out. It blends out really nicely. It looks very nice. I like it. I'm, I'm actually really not upset with the Fenty side of things. Like... I thought it'd be bad, but it doesn't look half as bad as I thought it would. You know, it doesn't look half as bad. Okay, let's go to Too Faced side. You guys, look, look at this. Like, it's already trying to take over. This concealer is so full, and it's like, it's not as thick as the Fenty concealer, so it moves much easier. And because of that, like, the Too Faced one moves much better. Um, like, right now that I'm blending it out, you saw how quickly it just it just blows out so quickly and it's the same with the the foundation the foundation blended out very very smoothly and it moved so it glid glided glided it moved so much better um, on my face compared to the Too Faced the Fenty side like the foundation and the concealer is actually a little bit hard for me to blend it out as well but Look how easy this concealer is to blend out. Okay, so looking at the concealers, I feel like the Fenty concealer is more yellow compared to Coco. Coco is not as yellow as Fenty. Like they're very very similar, but I feel like I can I can tell that this side this side looks slightly brighter than this side. Because I'm going to use Nutmeg in in the Benai, I'm also going to use Nutmeg in Fenty. I don't know how this is going to come out. It's probably going to be a lot brighter than I want it to come out. But this is Nutmeg Fenty and this is Nutmeg from Ben Nye. You guys have already seen what Nutmeg looks like on my skin tone from Ben Nye, but we've never seen what Fenty Ben Nutmeg looks like. So Okay, so these are the two next to each other. Confession, I am afraid. I am very, very afraid to try this because I don't want my makeup to come out bad. I don't want my makeup to come out bad. I'm using the Evita Joseph G125. Mm -hmm. You guys, I'm very scared. 
patting as much of it off as I can because I don't like to put a lot of powder. Already you can see that my under eye is bright. This is camel. This is camel um, from from the Benai line. I feel like I can compare. Uh, I feel like I can compare the nutmeg to the shade camel in the Benai line because of how bright it is. It's not coming out half as bad, actually. Okay. Okay, so, if you use a light hand, it's doable. If you use a light hand, it's doable. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. But if you just go in with a sponge or your brush and you just tap it in and just put the powder, I don't think it's going to look right. And this is... See, nutmeg, but nine nutmeg is a lot darker than, um, and because of that, I'm, I'm like not afraid to put nutmeg on my face. Something about the benign powders make me happy. Like, like for me, they're so effortless for me to use. It's exciting to me that I, I actually have a product that, so I'm going to put the Too Faced Jordan Woods Gloss on my lips and just so Fenty doesn't feel left out I'm using the Fenty gloss bomb the original and I'm going to put that I'm gonna put that over this one as well the Fenty gloss is lighter than the than the Too Faced the Too Faced uh, gloss is thicker so yeah it doesn't look Bad. I did use a very light hand with the Fenty setting powder because I was afraid that it would look too bright on my face. Um, it does look it does look very bright compared to my um, my not my benign nutmeg side, but it doesn't look so crazy. Like it's bright, but it's not like crazy bright. Okay, so let me know down below in the comments which side you like best. Obviously, I do like my lightly muted side. But yeah, it, the Fenty side does not look half as bad as I thought it would. Truthfully, it I can get away with it. If, if Fenty was all I had, I, it would work for me. I just wouldn't be able to pack on the powder as I usually do. But it doesn't look half as bad. So yeah, let me know down below in the comments which side you like best. I hope you enjoyed this video and, you know in my hair <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye